Hi friends, welcome to Baseline Makers. In this video, we will see how to edit IEEE Latex template. In my last video, I have already explained from where and how to download this template. I have uh, downloaded this template and kept it in my desktop folder. Here you can see that the conference iPhone Latex template. So first we need to extract this file. So let us extract it. Okay, now it is extracted here. You can see here in this folder there are different uh, class file and uh, one uh, latex file. Now let us uh, go to the text studio and let us open that uh, text file. Just go to the open then this is the file or text file that we need to open let us open it first so this is the file that we have or we can say that is the template we need to work to customize the template according to our interest now let us run this once and see what is appearing as an output of this file let us wait till run the file it will take a few seconds okay now let us see what is there in the output here yeah. now here you can see that this is the template to column format uh, which I typically generally accept the papers now here there is a conference paper title or the title of the article here we can have this uh, the place to add the authors of the articles and after that there is an abstract then there is an index terms then introduction and another section and after another subsection etc you can see now we'll see how we can edit in this format so not now what we can do here in this file text file you can see slash title conference paper title so now let us go to this page let me take this as my com conference uh, paper title I'm just copying this uh, title and uh, I need to paste it over here let us paste it here so now let us run this and see what is going to appear in this output PDF file now you can see here the title of the article is now modified accordingly you can change or you can use this uh, template and uh, change the title as you write the articles now here you can see there is a space for adding the authors let us go back to the latex file and see how we can edit this so here there is you can see that uh, here there is an other section here so here it is given first first given name surname okay so the same word you can see here also so now what you need to do is let us go to this word file and you can copy this other name from here and go back to text file so you can edit it from here first other name okay so we'll be doing that now another thing we need to do here is we need to add the department name let us go to here uh, I'll write here department of electrical engineering I can copy from here then I'll go back to this uh, text file I can edit it over here after that we need to edit the organization name again go back to this uh, word file and uh, we can we can use this organization name and just paste it over here let us paste it here another one city you can type also I can write here and 
finally you need to add the country so you can add okay last thing we need here is we need to add the email address of the author so let me copy my email address uh, from here oh, and I'll be pasting over here so let us run this and see what changes are appearing in this uh, PDF document so you can see here you have now customized the first other details similarly you can do for this uh, second order also third order also fourth order also fifth order also and sixth order also so here sometimes we do not have the need of uh, using this six others so you can remove it uh, from here so you can uh, do just if you want to remove this uh, author number uh, six what you need to do here is you need to go here need to go here and uh, then you can take the content from here to here and you can just delete this session okay you can just delete this session let us delete this and run this again and see what changes are appearing in this yes now the sixth order has been removed if you want to remove the fifth order what you can do you can do the same thing from here to here you can delete it again you run this file let us wait till uh, the file runs yes now the fifth author is also removed let us remove one more author from here to here So you can see now in this document now the fourth author is also removed so now you have the title of the article author name here you can add another of this and if you are, have only one other what you can do remove the third and second other as like I explained for the sixth and fifth and fourth others now what is required in this article is uh, we need to add an abstract of the article so let us copy this abstract directly from here directly from here and we can paste the same abstract over here so let us paste it here and run this file let us wait uh, till the file runs and see the output okay now you can see here the abstract of the article is now changed and we customized the abstract of this article similarly you can change the keywords like if you want to change the keyword you can directly change from here I can uh, change here multi-agent system let me show the changes are appearing here or not here I think you can see uh, we'll see uh, the changes now you can see the changes are appearing in this document now you can make the sections by using slash section so now what I am doing introduction is there I'm just copying the same content of abstract let me add it here I'm copying this and uh, just pasting just below the section and run this file and we'll see what changes are going to appear in this PDF document yes now you can see here there is an introduction and after that some content that we have added here now you can go to the second section or if you want to make an another section here what you can do just copy this and paste it over here and let us run it then a third section is also going to produce as the same title of the section so here you can see 
you can see the third section is also not clear there. So let us add some content in this section also in this section also. So let me paste this content just below the section number 2 and let me run this file let me run this file yes now you can see the some contents are appearing just below the second second section if you want to change the name of that section itself you can use the methods or approach you need to add in that document you need to just change here so that the changes will be reflected in your PDF document. So let me run this. Yes. So now uh, you have uh, changed the section name uh, to methods or approaches. Now let us see how we can add a subsection under these methods and approaches. So what we can do, we can just copy this from here, the section, clearly see what changes are going to do here. So here we need to write only a sub, so it will read as slash subsections, so we can say this is the first first method and approach we can write it like that and uh, let me run this file and see whether the changes are appearing here or not so you can see that now automatically the subsection is being added here so if you want to add a b section also so what you can do you can just copy this content from here and then paste it over here and change here let us say this is the second methods or approaches so let me see what what is going to appear in the output here so here a b section is also being created so likewise now you learned how to add different sections and uh, different uh, subsections abstract how to edit uh, the other details how to edit title etc in uh, the second part of this video we will cover the how to insert figure equation tables etc and the third part of the video will cover how to add the references to this IEEE article I think uh, this video is helpful for you so please like share and subscribe my channel thank you